Hi everybody, John Olenek here. Welcome to my music room. I'd like to take a moment today to show you my Alto Sham. This is a uh, medieval and renaissance instrument uh, that's a double reed. So it comes in three parts, the bell, the body, and the vocal and pirouette where the reed goes. Now this is a double reed instrument, so it uses this double reed, which looks almost like a very short bassoon reed. Uh, so for you oboes and bassoon players, you would be familiar kind of with how this is played. Now it's a very loud instrument, and it takes a lot of air. Ugh. Lightheaded. but it's uh, one of my favorite to play because it is so visually stunning. It's almost, uh, almost comical how big this alto sham is. Now the interesting thing about this alto sham, it's in the key of G and it's built, it has one key down by the bell, but it's built so it can be played right-handed or you can swap, swap your hands and play left-handed, if you did so wish. Um, I'm going to put a little clips of what it sounds like. It can be played in two ways. One is with the pirouette on. You place the reed in the vocal, and then you don't touch any part of your mouth or your lips to the reed. You just push up against the pirouette. second way is with the pirouette off and this is more like an English horn and it has sort of a the same sound as an English horn you engage your lips to the reed That's it. That's the alto sham. Double reed players, if you want to learn a uh, period instrument, I highly recommend picking up a sham. Bye. I'll see you next time.